hi everyone welcome back to my channel and in this video I am going to review the three lippy sticks that I own tell you my thoughts on these three would I purchase more and what my overall thoughts are on these lippy sticks so these Colourpop lippy sticks are like more well, lipsticks from Colourpop instead of them saying lipsticks they call them lippy sticks Colourpop lippy sticks so the packaging is white just like the eyeshadows you get the color at the bottom with the name and the formula when you open it it has a good tug to it so you get the color of the product here which I find in essence they all they're pretty good matchups I'm very pleased with them saying translate the color of the product to the color that you get here and so they're not short and chubby like lipsticks they are I guess the best of the two words in terms of lip liners and lipstick a lot of times we use you know we use lipsticks and then we use lip liners and we say that you know I wish you can cut this process in one this is what I thought lippy sticks more or less kind of was going for however they do have lip liners that match with each of these lipsticks so more or less lippy sticks is just like lipsticks but they put them almost in a stick form which I guess just like how we have the chubby sticks and the Revlon lip balm stains and those kind of stuff they are much easier for application as against a lipstick so these are not like say a combination of lipstick and lip pencil they are lipstick but just in the form of like a pencil so when compared to the other say jumbo pencils and all those kind of stuff you get one gram of product in these which is far less than what you get in say the balm stains and all of those um wet and wilds wet and wild has revlon has nyx has milani has and all of those are over two grams of product you do get in the stick form so these are pretty new i re i actually purchased these from someone who bought them and didn't like them and they said that they swatched them and they were pretty new when i got them got didn't get a lot of use so this is the product in full I may have used just one centimeter from it because when I wind it down that's as much as you so it is pretty you get a good set amount because of how opaque it is I do not think that it's gonna finish that quickly but when compared to five dollars and you get some drugstore uh, lip pencils chubby sticks those kind of things it does not equate they are not drying which some of the lip pencils are like the Revlon ones they can be drying Jordana's they can be drying these do have some moisture to even the matte colors however I noticed after a while they can become drying on your lips but when that gloss or that sheen that you get a product goes away from your lips you get an amazing stain with at least these three so it's Dahlia leather and creature the three that I have you get an amazing stain I actually prefer the stain that these give as against the actual product because it for me is so vampy and I know a lot of you out there love vampy colors so this will work this is straight up your alley but let's go with pack for packaging I think it's super cute I like their writing is iridescent by the way which is very girl friendly I mean you like cute packaging and that kind of jazz and it's white so it's different from a lot of the others uh, the bottom has a name of the product and the formula good it has a click to it so the pack the cap and the product exact doesn't come out too much you it's wind up retractable hey so it's good so packaging overall for me this gets a five out of five but bang for your buck because a lot of people say oh my gosh Colourpop is so inexpensive yes it's inexpensive but there are lots of other to me inexpensive products and this just happens to fall within the price range of a lot of other um, lipstick or lip lipsticks that are in a stick form and so for the value I would say this is not to me the best value because you only get one gram of product 
in terms of color selection they have a ton load like I was trying to count it and I remember passing 25 and they have a range from nudes into pink peach color berry color um, purples um, you have the mixture of like say nude and red pink and red um, then, you, then have, you have unique colors like black and white blue and green so you they have catered for pretty much everyone in their selection so they're on point when it comes to selection so let's get into the swatches of these um, lippy sticks and then I'll give you my overall take in this product first we have Dahlia this is what it looks like it's a vampy color This is, a, this is a matte and it's a very vampy color. You guys know me, this is definitely not my comfort zone kind of color and swatched on my hand. Yeah, very opaque, but you can see when you apply it on my lips, it was more or less given like I had to apply it again because it was a bit patchy. So what I'm wearing is called Creature and I applied it without a lip liner, um, without, yeah, lip liner. All these are without lip liners. This one is called Leather and that is a matte also. So all three that I got were mattes. So this is what it looks like swatched on my hand yes it is that purple it is out of the three that I got the one that I love the most I guess you guys could have guessed that much as you can see they are all opaque in nature they like but they and they're five US dollars but for me I think there are other products that do the same thing and are either the same price just a tad bit more or are inexpensive wet and wild packs a punch their lipstick some people say that some are drying and i do have some that are drying but i realize the more you use the wet and wild lipsticks the more um the less drying they are so if you have them sitting in your collection you just use them like once in a while they're gonna dry out on you and then that's the, um Sorry, that's a mega last but the one that they have like under a dollar those are really really amazing and moisturizing and they do stain your lips and NYC has some and those are like just really really expensive my all-time favorite would be my Jordana lippies they don't have the color range that um, Colourpop has but they do have a lot of lipsticks that have a really great stain power and um, I find though that with the Jordani you don't get a lot of the mattes where uh, nice colors in mattes as you get with the color pop. Then you have, let me see, Milani which is a tad bit more, Maybelline and there's some of those colors that you do get that stain and moisture and matte in them. So for me, I personally would not go and get any more of these lippy sticks. I would take my money and put it into say a Maybelline very quick quickly or Milani uh, Giordano without thinking um, and Giordano has their matte line now too so does Milani and Maybelline and Rat and Wild so I personally would not put, um, purchase this I know this is like a cult favorite here on YouTube a lot of people are going crazy over these 
but for me they are not and for the cost I can put my money into getting other products that have more in terms of quantity um, same quality and I do think if I'm looking for the idea of the convenience of a lipstick that I do get at in other products so I hope I'm not disappointing some of you who uh, love Colourpop but just for me these do not work as well as I thought and I don't even think it's working I think they do what they're supposed to do but I just think that there are other things that work better for value and these as much as people say these are budget friendly I do think there are other budget friendly uh, products because you get more than just one gram of product and so they class as a better value so this is just my thoughts with and you saw swatches on my skin tones of the three colors that I have and thank you so much for watching.